Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Science 8 which is all about a tale of two systems, the humans versus the plants. This will be the week 2 day 2 first quarter topic and this lesson is under the Matatag curriculum. For the objectives, by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to first is to explain the similarities and differences in how the system acquire, transport, and utilize nutrients. The second one is to compare the human digestive system with plant transport system. And the third one is to appreciate the complexity and adaptability of biological system in humans and plants by answering the guide questions. For the explicitation, let the students read the story in Activity 2.2, A Tale of Two Systems, Humans versus the Plants. The digestive systems in humans and the transport systems in plants are both marble of nature, each tailored to meet the unique nutritional needs of their respective organisms. While seemingly disparate, these systems share remarkable similarities in their functions and underlying principles. Let's embark on a journey to explore the intricacies of both systems, delving into their structure, processes, and interconnections. The human digestive system is a complex network of organs and tissues working seamlessly together to break down food into nutrients that can be absorbed and utilized by the body. It begins in the mouth where mechanical digestion begins with the chewing of food and chemical digestion commences with the action of saliva containing enzymes like amylase. The chewed food then travel down to esophagus, to pharynx, then to the stomach, where it is further broken down by gastric juices containing hydrochloric acid and enzymes. From the stomach, partially digested food enters the small intestine, where most nutrients absorption occurs through the villi and the microvilli lining its wall. The remaining undigested material move into the large intestine where water is reabsorbed and waste products are formed before being eliminated from the body through rectum and anus. The plant transport system, in contrast, plant lacks a specialized digestive system but possess a highly efficient transport system responsible for the uptake and distribution of water, nutrients, and other essential substances throughout the plant. This system comprises the roots, stem, and leaves, and each playing a distinct role. Water and minerals are absorbed by the roots from the soil through specialized structure such as the roots hairs and transported upward through the xylem tissue in the stem to the leaves. In the leaves, photosynthesis occurs producing sugar and other organic molecules that are transported downward through the phloem, tissue to various parts of the plant for growth and metabolism. Additionally, plants utilize a process known as transpiration wherein water evaporates from the leaves creating a suction force that helps pull water upward through the plant. Although humans and plants have distinct digestive and transport systems, they are intricately interconnected in the broader ecosystem. Humans rely on the plants for food, obtaining essential nutrients through consumption, digestion, and absorption. In turn, plants benefit from human activities such as cultivation and fertilization which contribute to their growth and development. 
Moreover, the waste products produced by both humans and animals serves as valuable nutrients for plants, completing the cycle of nutrients, exchange, and sustainability within ecosystems. In summary, the human digestive system and the plant transport system exemplify the remarkable adaptability and efficiency of biological systems. By understanding the similarities and interconnections between these systems, we gain deeper insights into the fundamental processes that sustain life on Earth. Whether humans or plants, each organism's ability to obtain and utilize nutrients is essential for the survival and contributes to the intricate web of life that exists in our world. After the reading, the students will answer the process between the human digestive system and the plant transport system. The students then answer the following guide questions. 